quick recap on video one. If you're hell-bent on working for one of the top-end engineering companies at the very pinnacle of your profession, you'll need to know how to design complex geometry, work in small and highly packed spaces, eliminate costly mistakes, produce incredibly detail-oriented designs, produce complex parts using casting, apply basic motion analysis, apply static stress analysis, use SOLIDWORKS library components as start models and use configurations. That's why we created the Harley-Davidson four-stroke motorcycle engine tutorial for you as a real-life SOLIDWORKS project to train you in the advanced skills only the top 5% of users possess. Imagine designing a Harley-Davidson four-stroke motorcycle engine step-by-step step in SOLIDWORKS. Seems too good to be true, I know how this looks. I used to imagine that learning advanced SOLIDWORKS skills would take years until I realised that I really needed a guide to show me where to start and what to do on real life projects. Continue with the Harley Davidson four stroke motorcycle engine. You want to grab a pen and paper or open SOLIDWORKS in another window because this is vital stuff. We include lots of information to help you get the advanced skills. Here's a big one. Basic motion analysis. We we'll go into this in detail in the full course. Now let's get started and answer some of your questions from the recent survey that we sent out. First question is, is this tutorial designed for beginners, i.e. part by part, assembly by assembly, from scratch? Yes, the model is designed from scratch. It's more challenging than the essentials of basic machine design course, but a motivated beginner would be more than capable. Secondly, will it move? I mean, will we make simulations? Yes, the animation includes the chain, which makes, which makes it even more valuable than a regular motion analysis. Next, air collision and simulate system. We're doing a stress analysis. We'll save fluid heat transfer for a model that is conducive to these analyses in the future. And now for a sneak peek with a pro-level shortcut. Do not create a large number of dependencies on assembly planes, especially for sliding parts mated with their planes in the assembly. Make sure you practice this strategy in SOLIDWORKS and post your questions below and I promise I'll read every one and respond to you with tips, advice and guidance. In video 3 I'll be featuring answers to some more of your questions and you'll see an animation from the course to continue your journey to SOLIDWORKS Mastery. What are you waiting for? Mastery takes practice. See you on video 3.